Welcome to our Designing with TPE series, where we will expand on the Shore D hardness scale. In our Measuring Hardness video, we explained how Albert Shore developed the technique, how the scales compare, and how the testing method works. If you haven't seen that video yet, we left a link for you below. This video will give you a brief overview of how the testing method works. Our focus in this video will be on the Shore D scale, which measures some of the harder TPE materials offered by Star Thermoplastics. We will show you how some of our most popular hard TPE materials do when put to the test. Then we will demonstrate what that means with some more familiar items. Hardness is an important factor in product designs and is often the first property to be considered during material selection. Products that incorporate a material with a hardness in the Shore D scale do so to achieve a high resistance to surface penetration. Examples might be tactical and work knee pads and caster wheels. These products will be more durable and resist punctures. Shore D TPEs are less flexible but tend to have a higher wear resistance, meaning they are ideal for products with repeated use, such as paper towel rollers and vehicle running boards. Here at Star Thermoplastics, we follow the ASTM D2240 standard testing method for rubber property. The testing is done by placing the durometer onto a small sample of material and pressing down to get a reading on the scale. Inside the durometer is where the magic happens. A small spring is used to push a little metal indenter into the surface of the material sample, and it measures how far the indenter penetrates the material. It's important to note that the indenter that is used on the durometer varies by scale. In our case, the Shore D durometer will have a sharp point on the indenter pin. On the other hand, the Shore double lot would have a more blunt point, and on the Shore A scale, the indenter tip would fall in the middle. We're going to show you a typical testing method for thermoplastic elastomers. We can take an instant hardness or a 10 second hardness. This can be done with either a handheld or a stand durometer. In compliance with the testing method, the material needs to be at least a quarter of an inch thick and placed on a smooth surface. If the material is not thick enough, it can be doubled or tripled in order to achieve the necessary thickness. The material is placed on the countertop and then the durometer is pressed into the material to get a reading. All of our demonstrations will be on the Shore D and Shore A scale. As you can see here, this material, which is typically used in automats, has a hardness of 25D. Sometimes the Shore scales overlap. For example, this Star Thermoplastics TPE measures 25 on the D scale, but measures 88 on the A scale. One of our harder materials, Star Preen 620350D, when tested is 50 on the Shore D scale. Now let's have a little fun with testing some items found in our day-to-day -day lives. Some examples being a golf ball, a car mat, pencils, and hard candy Jolly Ranchers. I'll demonstrate the various hardnesses of these items on the D scale. Let's get started with this sweet little hard candy. The durometer of the Jolly Rancher candy is an 18D. Golf balls are designed to absorb a lot of energy, but in their nature are really hard and durable. The durometer of this golf ball is 31D. These car mats are found in thousands of cars and are durable to last through many seasons of wear and tear. They have a durometer of 10D. These number two pencils have been used for years in classrooms around the world, and their durometer is 14D. Are you curious to see the hardness of other objects? Leave us a comment below. If you would like to learn more about our material, please visit our website at www.starthermoplastics.com and be sure to check out our other videos on YouTube.